Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all the support. We are up to 500 and something subscribers on the channel. I know I have not been posting a whole lot lately and I want to apologize for that. Uh, my health has been a concern and I know you guys have reached out um, and asked me about that and I really do appreciate the feedback, wanting to know what's going on. So today we're going to talk about the state of the game, uh, the state of Dragon Champions, what is going on in Dragon Champions, what I have been doing. No, I have not quit the game. I am still playing. I am still doing things. Uh, I enjoy this game. I love the game, but we want to talk about what's going on. So let's let's dive right into the action. As you can see, I'm on my account here. Uh, new battle pass. Really, really awesome. Uh, really awesome stuff going on. But let's talk about some of the new updates and let's talk about some of the things that have been going on here. So if we look on the screen right now, I've got my Discord page up. If you are new around here hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing if you like the video hit a thumbs up on it and get hit in the description below get on the discord interact with me hit me up on discord uh it's really really fun and awesome so they say just last tuesday i know i'm a week i'm behind here but hey dragon champions we released a new version of the game uh here we got 1.1.9 1 uh, new quest system uh, we got a new season battle pass now we can get ren the unseen uh now we get runic uh energy three times times a day uh, we've had the option to turn on dial turn off the dialogues and, and the settings and then they tweaked uh, the soleus uh, they tweaked soleus a little bit here and fixed some small bugs and then they had a new hot fix uh, because they had needed to tweak uh, tweak the battle pass offer and how it works uh, fix some bugs that show you the battle pass offer available for per purchase even when you completed the season and increase the treasure hat gold event and so they wanted to kind of explain what was going on with this uh, they wanted to let us know why the season appeared in the game earlier than plan they wanted to do this on march 1st uh we actually uh, they had the content creators actually help out a lot with this uh we gave them a lot of feedback and that sort of thing so they did a great job fixing the issue um i know that they didn't mean to do what they did all i know some people were upset um because they thought that maybe they were playing games and that sort of stuff and they're certainly not they're, they love their community i love our community um and i know that they were apologetic towards us and apologetic towards um the rest of the community as well but real quick, just read what they said. Originally, it was uh, this patch was supposed to be a minor with some bug fixes, stuff required uh, from us from the Apple to get Dragon Champions feature in the App Store. Uh, the deadline for the Apple release was uh, the updated yesterday, so this is back in Wednesday. Uh, the build went through really quickly. The patch uh, had the Seasons of Shadows, the new quest system, implemented um, to be open on Sunday, March 1st. Until they planned an opening date, the season was supposed to launch on the test server so our content creators like myself would be able to share and feed do feedback and that sort of stuff unfortunately the q and a uh, specialist did not get a chance to launch the game on the live servers um, with season of shadow turned off and sadly it ended up having a critical error um, and so this was a critical bug they had to push it out they had to get it up there so that's kind of what happened in a nutshell and the it was a little bit of a forced decision a little bit rust and they apologized for that so it was really really nice for them to do that um and then they gave us a kind of a road ahead kind of a blog post here they wanted to share some little news that are going to be keeping you in the loop on how things are going as well uh in the next three to four months two brand new game modes one individual group players or friends and one for guilds we're going to start teasing these modes later this week so please stand by uh, a new goblins themes raid for the bravest heroes and then personal boss Boss fights, uh, 20 plus brand new heroes, including uh, heroes of two really, really cool new races. So we're going to have those new races. We've been talking about those as well. Lots of improvements to players' quality of life. Uh, we're also considering increasing the the gear level to 12 and skills to level seven but keep in mind that's not going to happen real soon in the case we are all wondering uh they're not going to increase the max profile cap and that's for sure so it looks like we're going to be staying at level 80. not that is not all the team is working hard to optimize and improve game graphics uh you will start seeing the results really really soon which is super awesome because as you can see we're playing here on the computer and you know the computer i think the graphics are pretty nice as you can see they're I mean, I think the player, the details and that sort of stuff are just super, super sweet um, here on Venomate. And so I think that's really nice. 
as well. Uh, let us know what you think of the, of the upcoming features and we're free, free to discuss them and share some of your ideas as well. Yeah, please. If you if there's something that you'd like, get on Discord, hit them up, get on the Dragon Champions Discord as well. Get on my Discord and talk. Uh, hit me up on Discord as well. Drop comments down below and I'll be able to uh, go ahead and pass those on. Today, there was also an update that was released, the new update version 1.1.9.3, uh, th- which just had small bug fixes and improvements um, to the game as well. So that's really awesome stuff. That's what we have. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to, um, we're going to go ahead and go over here and talk a little bit more about what I'm doing. So we have Renara. Renara is coming out here. We got four days and 22 hours um, for Renara. Uh, I have played through this event um, on the test server. However, it's subject to change. And so we are not going to put out any content until after this thing comes out or until they let me know. Uh, Expect it to be hard. Um, expect it to be hard. Uh, that's what I. That's what I can tell you. I would not expect to be able to do this very easily. Here, let's look at my pandas. This is currently where I am sitting with my pandas right now. I got Patriarchy at gear eleven. Uh, fully maxed out. I have Ember uh, gear 11 as well, fully maxed out. I have Ken Lee at gear 10 and can max him out. Um, all his abilities are at six except for his leadership because I don't plan on using it. I'm going to get better, put better runes on him for the ability and probably max him to gear 11 as well. Uh, Foul gear 10 as well, completely maxed out. Can move him to gear 11 and Master Duo, also the same thing, completely maxed out. And that is the team that I plan on using um, going into it i as you can see i do have hilda but i don't have her up i just got enough shaolin and with lake i'm at 80 of 50 i could unlock but i'm not um currently i am my my family and i we are not doing any sort of spending um for lent and so because of that we're not doing any unnecessary spending so i did buy the battle pass and i will probably be um buying the boost but other than that i'm not unlocking any characters at the present time so as you can see these are currently the characters i don't have unlocked general murdoch instructor gorum uh Phalia, bori uh bori shadar and lake um not sure i need them right now but i think that those are those are certainly characters that you're gonna see a good bit of so let's talk about the battle pass. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the battle pass. You can see kind of where I'm at now. I'm at 800 um, doing the daily quests, most of the uh, getting all the daily quests for the most part done. Um, I'm not this defeat 150 clan heroes in arena. Not not a great quest. Not really something that we can do. I am getting the Darien Hearthstones uh, hero stones. Not a problem there. Fight 40 battles in a single tournament. Not bad. Burn enemies. I got just got that one done. The mysteries of sapphires and then take part of 30 guild raid battles so if you don't didn't know how to do this one or you haven't done this one yet the easiest way to do it is just to go in with one character and just allow them to kill you um don't don't attack the boss uh just attack the ads and then allow them to just smash your character um and just take them one in a time each bring character you bring in for me work that way uh and so that's how i was able to get that one done and completing tower runs, this is new for today, completing tower runs, uh, apply regeneration to, uh, to allies 300 times and complete 30, sta- 30 stages of the common events, uh, you know, defeat 100 humans in arena, that should be a little bit easier, um, I fought two battles and got 10 humans so far, um, you know, go ahead and get your aquamarine in action there, so that one's not too, too bad, so we just gotta get you know some just spend your spend your tournament for uh, you know your tournament coins and then get rantha hero stones and so that's not too that's not too difficult to do as well um and so if we don't know what week three is going to be we don't know what week four is going to be but what i'm going to do is every week um, when these come out i'm going to go do a video about my progression currently where i'm at um and then i'm holding off on this battle pass and to see if i need it towards the end if i need that thousand points i'll probably do it to get it complete um, but otherwise there i don't i'm not going to um i'm not going to do it so the battle pass, I think is a really, really cool idea. Uh, I played a lot of games, you know, like Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty, you know, PUBG, Battle Royale type games that have battle passes in them. And I always find them to be pretty fun. Uh, they give you kind of an exciting thing to do. And, you know, you know, for ten ninety nine, it's 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 worth it, uh, in my opinion. I think you're getting a lot and Ren the Unseen looks pretty pretty awesome of course now you're not going to be able to unlock her and have her at seven stars based on getting all this um and so she's not going to be viable or ready for um 
the Renara event. So the state of the game is actually quite good. Um, let's go right back to the battle pass one more time. Uh, it's simply because I want to talk real quickly about week two and talking about these common stage events. They are talking about the time investments, these every everyday events. I know for me, I stopped kind of pushing on them once I got a uh, little baddie all the way mar maxed out. But and now it's kind of, you know, it's a kind of another incentive to get that done because um, these are considered rare and these are the common ones. So these are the ones you're going to have to do. As you can see, I did practice time because it gives you energy. There's no reason not to do that. Um, but these are really, really nice. So it's interesting to see what happens in week three. Um, let's talk about tower for a little bit. So I am currently autoing tower, not on hard. Uh, I'm doing it on easy. Uh, this game mode, to be perfectly honest with you, I think it's just kind of a flop um, for for what they did with the developer, the, how the developers ended up doing this. When I go on to auto, when I go on to hard, I don't see there being a real need to be on hard. I'm not getting, there's not enough value for the amount of time that I need to spend to be able to get through it. And the fact is I can't get through it. Um, not currently where I'm sitting uh, with my roster. Maybe here soon I might be able to with where my roster is, but without having, you know, some of these other characters like General Murdoch, I'm, I'm just kind of lacking in some things. And of course I need to really focus more personally on runes, which I have not been doing. I have runes just sitting um, and things that I'm not using, as you can see. And so that's just on me because I've been too busy to really focus on getting my runes done the proper way. All right, so like, you know, so that's just, that's kind of where I'm at. As you can see, I've got a lot of gold. I've got a lot of dragon coins. I haven't been purchasing any of those. I've just been kind of hoarding and saving up. Uh, that's kind of where I've been um, and that sort of stuff. And of course, I'm still participating in all of my raids. So that is the current state of the game. Uh, I think that there's one last thing that I think that I actually want to mention is metas. So let's talk about the meta right now. The meta is going to shift. Um, you're going to have two viable teams in meta for arena. Right now you've had your Soleus, Nidiel, um, you know, uh, Cruel, Ember, and uh, Freezard. Uh, they've been around and that's been the meta for a while. This right here, what you're seeing here, this 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 team here with General Murdoch, uh, Major Shot, uh, Kara, uh, Adam, and Gorum are is going to be your is you're going to be your new meta. Now, it's not that these teams, these teams can beat each other. Um, they can beat each other back and forth, uh, depending on if they're, you know, if you got good gear and that sort of stuff. So you're really, really looking, this is your kind of a, your new meta team. And you're seeing a good bit of that. If you will look at the, if you look at the rankings, just on mine, on my shard here, you have, you know, good meta teams, and then you're still mostly being dominated by, you know, the Freezard, uh, you know, the, this, this team here. Um, and so that's kind of what we're looking at. I think the meta is going to shift. I, I think more people are going to have them. Obviously I do not have Gorum. Um, in fact, I even missed out on the tournament. So I've got a hundred shards of him right now. I have been farming him, uh, pretty, pretty religiously. Um, anytime I get some, get some, uh, extra coins, that sort of stuff. I just go right over to invasion of the demons, uh, and, you know, do his, do his runs. And so it's, it's a good place to be, uh, for me right now, just kind of free, free farming him and getting through his stuff. Of course, you're getting some great, you know, martyr fragments and some overthrows and that sort of thing too. So I, I've been pumping through him and making sure I get buying his energy, as you can see right now, that's kind of what I've been doing. And so he's definitely worth the purchase. He seems to be a really good guy, character and that sort of thing. So I do um, plan on doing some more in-depth and character guides and that sort of thing coming up, um, talking about the different pandas and that sort of thing. I would like to go through all the, all the pandas with you guys, explain to why I think that team's going to work. Um, you're going to have, I think there's going to be enough DPS. The one, the one thing I am worried about is there going to be enough DPS um, with this team. I think so. I think so. Fow is actually quite quite a good character. He's got, you know, he does pretty well. Um, and having him at gear 11 will be pretty good. And we got some good physical damage, but squishy. But the ability to have this uh, 
you know, gains additional 5% for each panda. Uh, it's really, really good. So we'll go over that and we'll go through those videos as well. If you have any questions uh, for me, please drop them down in the comments below. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and law intersect.